These are the tiki masks that were going to be made into animatronics. One of the subsystems is going to be installed on the left one are eyes that are moved controlled by an Arduino. One of the first steps into assembling animatronic eyes for the tiki is of course to start with a base plate. The base plate is where the servos will be mounted. This one was cut and measured uh, up to fit in the sockets. The second step was to locate where the eyeballs would be. Now the, the easiest way to get started with it is to first make the eyeballs. And those are made simply by uh, putting white paint on ping pong balls. I had drilled holes through the top and the bottom so that a wire could fit through them so they could dry without being touched. After that, I used uh, just regular old printer paper and printed irises out on regular paper and wet them so they would conform to the eyeball. Uh, after they were in place, then uh, following instructions you can find in other internet descriptions for making these eyeballs, I just took some red yarn and super glued it in strategic places to look like veins. Then went numerous coats of lacquer mm -hmm. and on top. I uh, used a semi-gloss because it was available and I just used spray paint and put a lot of coats on them and they came out pretty good. And then once I had the eyeballs I could place them inside the unit and get an idea exactly what the spacing was for the servos. And the servos were mounted underneath here. There was holes drilled for the servos and they simply just put them glued them on the bottom with a glue gun and then the eyeballs just simply glue gun them to the shaft. It was very direct. I tried many iterations of trying to use gearboxes and other things to make it so I only used one servo and after researching and not having much luck. Just to get an idea of what it, the Tiki would look like with eyeballs in place I put them in and have taken this picture. And it's pretty cool looking. To make it easier to operate the eyeballs and look and look at them and have them not fall off something while they're being moved, I have uh, them stuck on top of this mounting bracket. And as I tip them over, you know, this, this assembly has a circuit board underneath it. One of the things that I realized is putting this together that the wiring was very awkward with the servos and they were never going to be able to reach the CPU without building a special shield for the Arduino and I've got other plans for that Arduino shield uh, for, for proto board to mount other components of the sound system so what I did was build my own remote shield if you'd like to call it that what this has on it, it just has a single feed for the 5 volt power supply and common for the running the servos. Uh, I have a big supply, uh, 5 volt 4 amp supply, because I'm going to be money running multiple servos for this animatronics project. So the servos directly plug into this board, but it's, this board is fed by a single power supply. The other thing is that the animatronic eyes also have lights in them because I want to be able to have them light up to bring accent to it sometimes. So what I've done is taken very light gauge wire and wand it like a spring. And those come back down to the circuit board also. And it just has a single feed for power for the circuit board to run the servos and the LEDs. Also on that circuit board is a uh, solid state relay driver. It's going to also power these LEDs. I didn't want to overburden the Arduino's outputs. I want to keep those uh, power supplies unloaded. So uh, rather than tax the Arduino with power, I'm just sending one sig single signal for one milliamp to the solid state relay and the LED bulbs are, are uh, running about 50 milliamps so they uh, it saves on the Arduino IO it's not size for that stuff so 
it's very simple. Hook up to the Arduino by doing this interface board and also reduces the I.O. count and the wiring. The Arduino will be placed in another part of the project down inside of a base underneath the Tiki mask. I, I have moved the eyeball assembly over closer to the PC because that's where I have the Arduino power coming from. In the actual project, the Arduino will be powered from a 12 volt 3 amp power supply that's used for some other accessories like the audio amplifier. At this time, this is just a mock up to make sure that the system's working. The software that's loaded in the Arduino is not the final system software for the demo and the Tiki project. It is just enough in the servo mechanism to make the eyes turn back and forth and light the lights so that we can get the eyeballs calibrated and also watch them work, make sure the movement is free. So now I plug it in. The eyeballs go to the zero position and then they are synchronized and they stay together. And what I have them doing right now is one direction they move three times faster than the other. The ultimate idea would be to have the uh, sonic sensor locate people and follow people around to make them think that Tiki's watching them. At the Uno end, the only thing that is hooked up is two signals, a PWM here and a PWM here for each eye, and then a single wire for plus five and a single wire for common. So it, the, the wire count is only four going to the whole assembly, which is very good. In the at the real project, the uh, power supply will actually be wired from a different place. And you can also see in real life, I don't know if this camera is catching it, but there is a little flicker to the lights. And the flicker is corresponding to the movement of the servos because even with no load, these two servos are taxing the power supply. So at the end, this is the first prototype for the Tiki eyes for the Tiki project.